Welcome to your daily devotional for the month of October entitled A Reverent Life from the book My Life Today October 23rd Christ tempted as we are Christ in my life For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Hebrews 4 verse 15 The coming of Christ to our world was a great event, not only to this world, but to all the worlds in the universe of God. He came to take upon him our nature, to be tempted in all points like as we are, and yet to leave before us an example of perfect purity, an unblemished character. In that he was tempted in all points like as we are, he knows how to sympathize with us. He knows how to pity and how to aid the children and youth, for he too was a child, and he understands every trial and temptation with which children are beset. His eyes shone with an expression of that love which led him to leave the heavenly courts and come to earth to die in the sinner's place. He pitied and loved not only those who sought to be obedient and loving, but those also who were wayward and perverse. Jesus has not changed. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he still loves and pities the erring, seeking to draw them to himself that he may give them divine aid. He knows that a demon power is struggling in every soul, striving for the mastery, but Jesus came to break the power of Satan and to set the captives free. In Christ, the character of the Father was revealed. As children looked upon his countenance, they saw purity and goodness shining forth from his eyes. In his countenance, Gentleness, meekness, love, and conscious power were combined. But though every word, every gesture, every expression of his face betokened his divine supremacy, humility marked his deportment and bearing. He came but for one purpose, and that was the salvation of the lost. Irreverent Life, October 23rd